I said, well, the time has come. Well, I was going to do Acoustic Monday, but uh, I had to send the one Acoustasonic back. I got a new one coming. So in lieu of that, we're going to electrify today because my other two acoustics I grabbed and the doggone batteries were out. I got a, I got a re battery, those sons of guns, I got a re battery. Sons of gun, re battery, those sons of gun, re battery, those sons of gun, re battery, those sons of guns. Just Dylan and I today, we'll have Matt back on Friday. Matt back on Friday. Look at that sun. It's creeping in right in the cracks of my little baffle over there. Oh, you know what? It's just so hard. It's just so hard. You just want to play guitar. And there's cameras and chords and all manner. Oh, there you go, Sari. Thank you. You almost got it. There's a little, there's more to the right, I think. No, is that the way? No. Say friend. There we go. Thank you. Sarah did it. Here's a story about a mighty Sarah who heard me whining about the sun shining through. Then she came in here and moved the mighty baffle from my parents' house. It's a golden thing and we don't really know where it came from. But it's majestic and quasi-regal in nature. Quasi-regal in nature. Yeah, there you go. All right.
just like that, ladies and gentlemen. That was called Excursions in E, <coughs> including elements of Susie Q. Uh, look over yonder. <laughs> what else did we pop in there? Uh, a couple tunes of mine were thrown in there for good measure. That's right. And uh, that's all there is to it. This, of course, is my uh, Reverend Grizzle Master with my Fishman Gristle Town pickups. Fishman Fluence Gristle Town pickups for tea style guitars. Sugar digga doo. Sugar digga doo. And this is Blucifer, ladies and gentlemen. for that sweet sarsaparilla. It's water, Todd. It's not moonshine. Greek food for lunch was a little salty.
Can you dig it? I don't know what that song was. I kind of like it. I like that. This guitar is our Reverend Gristlemaster. With my fishman flu in Gristletown, pick up Spartan like answer. I got a powerful thirst. Two voices on these doggone pickups. We got. Tasty tones for the kids. And they're totally quiet. They're totally quiet. And of course, the amp I'm going through is the cock amp. It's called the Greg, the cock amp. Sounds so right. Made in the Netherlands by an individual named Dolph Koch. And Edwin and Chris Fingerhood get the job done. That 210 amplifier, 50 or 25 watts. It has two channels. The second channel has a gain boost on the top. There is an OTS feature, a half-watt power up to we can overdrive. The channel to add some heat, some gristle and meat. Oh, can you dig it? It's got a three-button reverb, like a reverb tank. It also has brown face here, a harmonic vibrato on board. That's that sound you hear right now. Everyone always thinks that it's a univibe, but it's not. It's on the doggone amplifier. It sounds so mysterious and juicy and succulent. It's on the amplifier. Due to some supply chain issues, uh, the, lo the smaller iterations are a little slow in coming. You know why? Because supply chain issues, ladies and gentlemen. Mm, yes. Bluesman said, my girlfriend called Jimmy's guitar sound instant headache today. Oh, my Lord. That is a sad, sad day. Mm. Uh, <laughs> 
Todd, you're a dirty, dirty man. The, the things that Todd says online. You know, I can see you, Todd. I can see your comments. And you're one sick puppy, Todd. You're one sick puppy, Todd. What are the settings on my amp for tone? Funny you should ask. I keep everything at 12 o'clock. Bass, middle, treble, 12 o'clock. Bass, middle, 12, 12 o'clock. Presence at 12 o'clock as well. Lead channel, I run the gain at about 3 o'clock and the uh, master at about 1 o'clock. Uh, clean channel, I run the gain about noon and uh, master at 1 o'clock. And then the master volume on top, I run around 2 o'clock, depending on what we're doing. Um, can you dig it? Elbar says, got the harmonic vibrato fixed on my Epi Pathfinder. Now the reverb is acting up. Oh, well, 56-year-old amp. Yeah, that's the thing about old amps is sometimes... They're just a little problematic. Uh, Aaron says he got his gristle beanie today. Oh, and it's on. All right, Aaron. Put that sucker on and go to the grocery store and say, I have come. Now give me some fruit. Give me some other, give me some meat, give me some products. And you can stand in line waiting to get checked out with that hat on. People will be checking you out and be like, that's right. I want my damn beanie and I take it all. Package my meat and my fruit. Put it in, put it, pack it up. Pack up my goods and my cart. I got my beanie and all. <laughs> I have no idea what any of that means, but rest assured I've been to the grocery store with practically each different color of my beanies, and I've walked around proudly as I've gone up to the counter and said, give me, give me a, a pound of that boar's head jerk chicken. How would you like that sliced? Sliced! Now get on it! Am I right? <laughs> Give us some air. Uh The blues thing with the cool turnaround, what, which one? Is that the, I uh, mean the... That's one cool turnaround I had, or the other one is the... Uh, uh, Got some turnarounds, or this one. I'm with my beanie to the grocery store. Now pack up my meat and my fruit. And my other items too. I want my gristle beanie too grocery store today I'm looking so good what can I say I pack up my meat my fruit and my crunch berries and my sundry items from the pick and save or as I like to say the push and shove tasty activity when you wear the doggone gristle beanie. Wow, you hear that? The power of the beanie. Pack up my meat and my fruit. Wear my hat. Um, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That took a turn. You know why? Things need to happen when you go to the grocery store. But they need to drink water right out of a mason jar. Mm -hmm. Pass the moon jam. I drooled a little bit. I drooled a little bit. I drooled a little bit, and it's coming on strong. Please play some disco, says Pobble.
Marini. Wow, that went off the rails. Say what? <laughs> That's enough of that, thank you. Listen, Todd. Take your gristle beanie song and like it. All right, we had a request for this crazy song. I like to do it with a little bit of... Well, I hear that train to come in and it's rolling around the bend. And I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. Well, I'm stuck in Folsom Prison. Time keeps dragging on, damn it. Just a baby, my mama told me so. Always be a good boy, don't ever get the runs. I shot a man in a schwabana just to watch him die. Now when I hear that whistle blowing, I hang my head and cry. I cry, damn it. dining facility. They're probably drinking coffee and smoking big cigars like go ahead and come on. I know I can't be. I hear there was sheep in here and that's a good joke. Wow. Take a little further, or does that further down the line? Far from Folsom Prison. That's where I want to stay. And I let that lonesome gristle blow my mind. Schwabanon. That's up there by Green Bay once. That's up there by Green Bay. That's up there by Green Bay. A Schwabanon is a place that's up there by Green Bay. You're going to see the Packers. You stop in a Schwabanon. When you go to get some you go to Schwabanon, you go to Schwabanon. You go to Schwabanon. Uh, great, good.
googly moogly is what I like to say, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody doing out there on this doggone Monday? Nice job, McCorkendales. Thanks, E. Thanks, Eddie. Ring of Zozo. That's it. Jimmy stepped into a burning ring of fire. He went down one, down one, down one. Uh-huh. Oh, we could do it. <laughs> Sometimes I step into a, a doggone burning ring of fire and I got to do something about it. Lay off them spicy foods. Lay off them spicy foods and the ring of fire be ameliorated. What? I don't know what kind of talk is that. What kind of talk is that? I just don't know what kind of talk is that.
Some said you were low down Others called you mean But from where I was standing <laughs> Well, none of those traits could be seen Each time I fall Hook, line, and sinker I end up stranded, betrayed, and too broke to drink you off of my mind. Some folks are heartbreak magnets, or so the story goes. Well, I pray to God above you, you know, that I wouldn't be one of those each time I fall. Hook, line, and sinker, oh yeah. I end up stranded, betrayed, and too broke to drink you off of my But I'm just too slow to learn Everyone has hard time I just had more than my turn Well, I shouldn't be ungrateful, no Cause I could get no loving at all It's just that air Every time I slay up, I fall. Till they shake me till they wave. Then there goes my pride, yeah, as well as my heart and pain. Each time I fall, hook, line, and sinker, oh yeah. I end up stranded, betrayed. 
to drink Lord, I end up stranded Betraying And too broke to drink Lord, I end up stranded tune of mine back in the day stranded betrayed and too broke to drink you off of my mind now that is an individual who's having a hard time uh, that was on the first tone control album now it's just called it's the one with the flying saucers over the sepia tone milwaukee though there's a cool live version of that that's going to be on this live bootleg that we found that we're going to put out of the old tone controls ensemble and uh Uh, yep. What do you got going on there? Holy shit, Dylan destroyed the snare. He cut it in half with his great power. That's about time for questions anyways. It's about time for questions, people. Questions, people. If you have a little question, people. Do I know any Zappa? A little bit. Every now and again we do a little... For some Zappa off the. Uh, we were guessing it. We were completely guessing it on there. But you know what? It sounded all right. I like to do a version of that, Zuda Lures. There's a version that he does on the uh, live uh, Does Humor Belong in Music from 1984. I actually saw him on that tour. He was wearing the exact same thing this pink shirt and shorts. What? Uh, Pat Martino died? What? I don't want it. Why does that, why do all these deaths have to happen as I'm live streaming? I don't like it. R R.I.P. Mighty Pat Martino. Good lord. One of the all-time bests. Uh, lord have mercy. Anyway. <laughs> uh, we have a gig uh, with the Cock Marshall Trio on New Year's Eve at a place called Shank Hall in Milwaukee. We're playing in Chicago with the Cock Marshall Trio in February at Martyrs. Although we just, we're about to announce, you'll hear it here first. We're gonna do a one of a kind gig, me, Dylan, and Matt Turner at a place in town in Milwaukee here called the Anodyne Coffee Roastery and cool venue on Third and Bruce. Not too far away from Dylan's new pad, as a matter of fact. 
the day before, the night before Thanksgiving, we're going to do a Gristle Plays Jimmy. We're going to do a night. It's just me doing my favorite Jimmy songs and the way I want to do them, okay? And uh, it's going to be a night to remember. So for those of you who live close, I would recommend coming because we're going to scald brains. We're going to open up a, a crack in the crust of the earth. Winged beasts are going to fly around, but benevolent forces that have just been trapped just below the surface of the earth. That's right. They're going to come, as well as the celestial members of the winged community. They're all going to be around in a giant purplish shoe all around that venue. And uh, that's what's going to happen. Gristle plays Jimmy. That's right, you heard it here first. <laughs> Attractive individual will be on. Attractive individual. I respect you for your brain and other attributes. Attractive individual. Castles made of sand and wait till tomorrow. Yes, well, those might be on the, those might be on the docket. What about a little Easy Rider? Oh. tell that a lot of those tunes, Jimmy would write these tunes in the studio and realize there's no way I'm going to be able to play and sing that at the same time. <laughs> and Easy Rider would be one of them. He tried to do it live, but then he was just like, <laughs> which is not the same as doing that epic line. <laughs> That's a good one. We're going to do a bunch of those crazy songs. Sleazy Grinder. Whoa, Blues Man. I like it. Dolly Dagger is another one. That is. But we probably have. Greg says that Pat Martino did not die. Well, thank you, Greg, for piping in. I appreciate that. I don't like seeing things on the stream. And having to process, Bold as Love is another one, exactly. Wikipedia is saying he did die today. Well, doggone it. What happened? It's, we'll, have to get, we'll have to get to the bottom of this. <clears throat> Wait till tomorrow is another good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
must not have been right. So forever, good night. Sugar booger. <coughs> I live in Philly and he has died. Thank you, Roy Thomas, for that lowdown. Uh, pretty unbelievable, but the fact that he had a stroke a while back and then completely retaught himself how to play guitar uh, with great aplomb. So, quite the outstanding individual. Uh, questions out there, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be afraid of it. Quick bang. What a hang. How is the Reverend? It's fantastic. This is my signature Reverend Gristle Master guitar with my Fishman Fluence gristle tone pickups on it, match made in heaven, slightly larger body, Carina body, roasted maple neck, this one's in the color of Blucifer, transparent Carina body on the top, opaque on the back and sides, and uh, compound radius, 6105 frets, lock and tuners, yada, yada, yada. We got the, uh, the newfangled uh, Wilkinson bridge with the brass barrels, but they're intonated and delicious, and uh, that's all there is to it. How do you change the batteries? Well, there is a input right here with a mini USB charger. You charge that uh, an hour and a half every every 300 every 300 playing hours. You have to recharge. Can you dig it? Is that a roasted neck? It is indeed. Uh, what does Dylan have on the front of his bass drum? He's got a variety of stickers. Uh, he's got a variety of stickers. And just put a new Johnny Cash bumper sticker on my car we found. Yes. Yeah. Got a new. But it says, God bless Johnny Cash. That's right. That's right. From the Waterloo restaurant out in Louisville, Colorado. I got That's there. right. Um, Robert asks, uh, have I ever, did I ever dig Foghat? As a matter of fact, I did dig Foghat back in the day. I had that live record. My sister had it, and I procured it from her. Slow. Ding, 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 ding. And um, all that kind of tone stickers, exactly, Michael. That's what he's got on his drums. Um, can you dig it? That's all there is to it. Can you dig it? I just put, uh, Gary says, I just put uh, Fluence Classic Humbuckers in my PRS. Uh, love the clarity, but damn, they're hot. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, I find that all of my, the way I set my amplifier with all of my uh, fluence filled guitars are, are, have parity. And, th and it's not totally different from when I plug in my other guitar. So it may just be that that, um, I mean, I think they are hot, but I don't think they're like way hotter. You know what I mean? Uh, but do but do you feel do you ever feel like we do that's that's Peter Frampton that's that Peter Frampton tattered <laughs> Woke up this morning with a wine glass in my hand. Whose wine? What wine? Where the hell did I dine? Hmm. Must have been a dream. I don't believe where I've been. But come on, let's do it again. Do you, you feel like we, what, hung over? Do we feel like he did hung over? Because it sounds like he's waking up after one hell of a bender. Blacked out, doesn't know where he's been. He wants to know if you feel like he does, like like crap. He needs some Alka-Seltzer and, and, and some more of these mason jars full of water. Combat his bad addled brain. Mm. Mm. Wow. Can you dig it? Mm. What's in the jar? Water. Water's in the jar. Uh, someone asked for Sweet Dreams, uh, our, the, the arrangement. You know, well, one of these days we'll do that with Matt. That's too hard to do with a duo. You need some chords going on behind me. All right, so at least some kind of, some harmo kind of harmonic rhythm behind me. <clears throat> you thought it was moonshine. Yeah, well. Uh, well. Nah, well. Nah, well. <laughs> I saw an interview with Frampton. The song was about a hangover. That's what I thought you said, Robert. I woke up this morning uh, with a wine glass in my hand. In my hand. Yes. 
For Christ's sake, play something. Listen, Fox 5-5, five, five, we've been playing for a freaking hour. Sometimes we open it up for questions. Just because you're tuning in now when we happen not to be playing. Sorry, Fox 5-5. Five, five. Uh, where did Dylan get his shirt? See, there's a question. Where'd you get your shirt? I think this was a thrift shop find. Thrift shop find. Thrift shop find. Uh, Chicago soon, says Irish guy. Yes, we're playing there in February. If you check my website, you will see... Let me see, when is that? We're playing at Martyrs. And I'm always forgetting when the heck we're at Martyrs. So I have to look and see where we are playing. And I'm going to have to look right now. Uh, True Grit says, we are playing there at Martyrs. Uh, February 10th, Martyrs. You can get tickets not live right now at martyrslive.com. Cock Marshall Trio, and then this Giacomo Tour. Have you seen this, this kid play? <laughs> it's ridiculous. He's like an internet sensation. He does, plays bass and guitar. He's, he's just unbelievable. He's, he's a super freak. So he's going to play before us, and then, you know, after he's burned the place down, we'll have to do our thing. But, you know, we'll, we'll come up with something. <laughs> what? We'll come up with something. We'll come up with something. Um, Dylan's shirt goes well with his upper torso. All the holes seem to be in the right place. Thanks, Todd. Todd again for the win. Advantage Goslin. Uh, West Coast Blues to honor. Oh, yeah, it's some sad business. Great to bam, bam. Yeah, we're doing uh, a show in town here the day before Thanksgiving, and we're doing all Hendrix tunes. A place called the Anodyne Coffee Place. We haven't announced the gig yet. It's coming. But as soon as it's, uh, we'll have artwork and links and all that kind of stuff you do when the gig is nigh. Um, uh, can you dig it? Uh, have we ever listened to any fish? Have you listened to any fish? I haven't really either. I've seen a few different things. Trey seems like a fine, fine axe wielding pirate. Um, oh, thank you, Gentry James. He says, my True Fire uh, course is incredible. Thank you very much. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, uh, thank you all for supporting and getting my new True Fire course. It's doing very, very well, and I appreciate it. And, you, and if you haven't got it yet, got it yet, you can get it through my website, <clears throat> G-R-E-G-K-O-C-H dot com. And on the landing page, you'll see Gristleman Guitar. That's the name of the course. 14 of my go-to techniques with about 58, I think it's individualized lessons on all that different stuff, ranging from chicken picking, uh, blues bends, vibratos, pinch harmonics, Travis picking, um, funky rhythm stuff, shuffle rhythm stuff. Uh, crazy rock and roll squeals and standard tuning slide, gospel chord things, so on and so forth. So, and you dig it. Uh, -da 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 -da. The works, exactly. It's got the works. Um, the 
course is pending. Got to get off. Oh, I get it, Eddie. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of it. Will there be a head version of the Tweet app? No, Lane, there will be not. There'll be a head version of the Greg Jr., though, which will be a single 12 amp. That'll basically be the two channels off this amp without all the, it won't have the OTS feature. It won't have the harmonic vibrato. It'll just be the two channels uh, with the gain boost on the second channel and reverb. It still will sound like mid Um Andy Biggin. Uh, who's Jimmy Herring? He's a magnificent axe-wielding pirate and a buddy of mine of many years. Currently playing with um, widespread, pa widespread panic. Was widespread panic just in town? They just were. Oh, I missed it. I was in my own twilight realm of my own secret thoughts. Usually we get a hold of each other and say, what's going on, dude? But I didn't this time. I didn't know. I wasn't aware that they were in town because sometimes I don't pay attention. Don't pay attention. And it feels good. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it feels good not to pay attention. Uh, love your beanie. Thank you very much. You can get those at gregcock.com as well. Many people have succumbed to the power of my many colored beanies. Gristle beanies, I like to call them. Uh, anywho. Uh, listen, folks, it's about that time. We actually went a little late today. Thanks so much for tuning in. We appreciate it. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central doing my Wildwood stream, which is just myself, but though we'll be back with Dylan and Matt on base on Friday for our Fishman Friday stream at 4 p.m. Central time. Can you dig it? Also, we're doing Together.com on Saturday at 5. Together.co. Sorry, I always get that wrong. <clears throat> and that's on Saturday at 5. That'll also be with Matt. So, good times. All right, thank you so much, folks. We'll see you on the flippity flop. <laughs> <laughs>